when you might know, not know where to turn, um, there are programs like the YWCA that, um, that can help you to overcome so many challenges when you, when you feel that you just can't, can't move forward. I come from a single parent home. I you know, grew up poor. I come from a impoverished community. And uh, one of the things that I remember growing up is that there was a lack of uh, organizations like the YW. And it's important to have establishments like this because we need it from the programming, from just, just even job opportunities. The work that they're doing here at the YW is a beautiful thing. So our mission, and it has been for 100 years, although with slight variations, is to eliminate racism and empower women. And here at the Ulster chapter, our goal is to really provide economic, educational, political, and social opportunities for women to flourish and optimize, uh, eventually uh, hoping to achieve a total equality with our male counterparts. Um, so I started with the Y, um, being enrolled in the Magic Circle Nursery School in the early 80s. And because of them, I'm actually feel comfortable in having my daughter currently enrolled in the YWCA. Since uh, my daughter's enrollment in the YWCA, I was promoted from part-time to full-time. Not only has it helped me professionally, but also I have a mortgage approval because of the ability to work full-time. So it's just um, changed my life immensely. And that's one of the ways that we know our programs are working because the um, income level of our, 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 our women, our mothers here, um, increases exponentially as, as they are afforded better and better childcare. So our primary programs focus on early childhood development. We have three separate locations, all under the auspices of Magic Circle School. One is here in our building at 209 Clinton, and that's zero to four and a half years old. We have a before and after school care program at the Mahar Elementary School. And then we have a drop-in child care center at the Family Court over on Albany Avenue. And we believe that early childhood development and child care is a female justice issue. In order for women to be able to be lucrative and successful outside of the work of the home, good, safe, quality, and affordable child care has to be available to them. My association with the YWCA is just collaboration through storytelling. You know, we did a film for them for their gala. Um, and just, we just continuously cross paths with both of their work and our work. The first thing I heard when I came, I came into Kingston is the lack of programs. And then hearing what the YW was doing by providing more programs in the community and then also hearing that there are waiting lists to get into some of the programs says a lot. It says that we need more programming and that's what YW is providing. Just compassionate, always outreaching to the community, having so many fun events for the children to attend and just always there to help, whether it be mental health, just helping you feel empowered, helping you feel that you're not alone so that you can get through just day-to-day -day struggles. The why here in Kingston, we do know we're 100 years old and just turned in January 23rd, 2023. Uh, we started out at 14 Henry Street and moved to this building somewhere around the late 1970s. And we have been here ever since our centennial anniversary. So it was a huge party, partnered up with Harambe and some of our other kid-friendly partners to provide entertainment and we were just able to sort of dance the night away and really celebrate what it is to be, you know, a hundred year old organization in Ulster County. I was just like overjoyed and so grateful that they chose us, especially because the work of so many other not-for-profits in Ulster County exceeds any of my expectations. So I was just so excited and I still am, I can't get over it. Uh, well, first off, I would just like to thank our board of directors, uh, a strong and mighty team of women who've committed to revitalizing this agency. Of course, I want to take a minute to thank our faculty, our incredible teachers who serve 60 children and families a day. I'd like to thank our wonderful officer and director team who has taken on the democratization of leadership at every level. And then lastly, I will thank my parents um, who have invested every uh, dollar and every like cell into my best education possible and enabled me to be able to pay that forward, um, hoping that every child uh, is given the, the privilege and the attention and the love that I've been given.